Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at E Trailer, and today we'll be taking a look at the Kelty Mistral sleeping bag. This is one of Kelty's different types of sleeping bags to keep you warm and cozy when you're out adventuring. This is the Kelty Mistral in size kids with the colors of orange and teal and with the degree rating of 20. So you have different options when it comes to colors, when it comes to sizes or I guess lengths of sleeping bag, as well as when it comes to degree ratings. We'll talk about those different categories later on in this video and compare them with others of the same type but different ratings. But here, we're gonna focus on what makes the Mistral special and that is where it covers the essentials without being too pricey. So we're gonna start from the bottom and head to the top. So notice down here how we have our foot box. It's a relatively spacious foot box, just enough for your feet as well as if you wanna tuck like your shoes or your socks in there to keep them warm through the night, you can do so. Now, if you are storing things over in the foot box, remember you won't be able to access it unless you reach all the way in there because unlike the tuck or some of Kelty's more premium options, it does not have a zipper for easy ventilation. In fact, the closest zipper is gonna be right where your knees are. Notice how that even when your zipper is all the way closed, you still have an extra flap there just to make sure that you can stay warm and insulated. The sides of the healthy bag have an extra layer or an extra flap and that's going to make sure that you are nice and warm inside and it covers all of those seams. So that's also called the anti-snag zipper construction. So it's nice because then you don't have it snagging on the sleeping bag itself and tearing it up, but it does kind of snag or I guess stick over to the end. Now the top zipper has a little bit more of a familiar design. It's a double zipper. That way, whether you're zipping it from the inside or the outside, you can do so. It also has that anti-snug construction or that extra lip of insulation. Speaking of insulation, this sleeping bag uses Cloud Loft synthetic insulation. So the focus of this one is going to be where it keeps your sleeping bag light but insulated. If you want something a little bit more heavy duty though, you're going to want to look at the Thermapro insulation that you can find in the Tuck series. And finally, once you get to the top and zip it all the way up, you, you now see that it has a mummy design. So you have a cinch cord right over here. You're going to pull that so it cinches around your face. So make sure you get both cinch cords. The idea is to cover your face and leave your mouth and your nose open so you don't gather condensation inside the sleeping bag. I do like how it cinches really, really tight around the face, but also I would prefer that have a layer of insulation on top just so it's not tightening down around my eyes. That's something that the Kelty Tuck does a little bit better, but I do like how this does the job. So this is the kid size, which is ideal for people that are not taller than five feet, but there are other sizes as well, ranging from kids all the way to long. Let's take a look at that. So some of the Kelty sleeping bags come in different lengths. So you can have it ranging from kids all the way to long. So for kids, the height recommended for the sleeping bag is up to five feet tall. Then you have the women's and the height recommended is up to five feet and eight inches tall. The regular is recommended for people up to six feet tall. And finally, the long is gonna be for people that are up to six feet and six inches tall. Keep in mind though that this is only the length of the sleeping bag and the height of the person. You also have differences when it comes to width, like the tuck has a couple inches or an inch and a half more of width, and there's other sleeping bags that are larger when it comes to width. So that's something to remember when you are choosing the right sleeping bag for you. What's also important is making sure you have the right sleeping bag for the right situation. This is the 20 degree sleeping bag, but this can range all the way from your colder temperature, zero degrees, and to your hotter temperatures. We have a comparison of those. So we have a bunch of different Kelty sleeping bags here with different degree ratings. So that's gonna be ranging from zero all the way to 50. So let's go over each of the different ratings and talk about what they're for and what kind of sleeping bag you would want for certain situations. 
This is the Kelty Rambler, perfect for summer seasons or if you're in a tropical climate or if you're in a low elevation area. Looking at the insulation, you can see it's very, very thin, which means you're not too warm at night, but this is also more lightweight and more compact than your other sleeping bags. And here we have the Kelty Kush and the Kelty Katina. So these are all rated for 30 degrees. So this is going to be slightly cooler than your Kelty Rambler. This is good for what we call two season camping, which is usually spring or summer in certain areas. And this is a good in between sleeping bag. If you're not too sure if you're going to be cold or not too sure if it's going to be warm, you'd want to go with a middle of the road 30 degree sleeping bag. And these two here are 20 degree sleeping bags with differences. So this one uses the cloud foam insulation. So this is the Kelty Mistral. And you can feel that the insulation for this is a lot lighter than the Thermapro insulation that the Kelty Tuck uses. 20 degrees is what I would use during winter camping or cold camping, just because especially with the Thermapro insulation, you want to make sure that it can handle condensation. Even if you are breathing inside of the sleeping bag or there is some moisture in the sleeping bag, you want to make sure it doesn't gather too much, then you're not sopping wet when you wake up. And finally, we have our zero degree sleeping bag. This is really good for those really, really, really cold winter snowy nights. You'll want to make sure that you can handle those low temperatures. They usually have the mummy style because you want to make sure there's no condensation gathering on the inside of your sleeping bag and it goes out through your nose and your mouth. This is the Mistral, so it also uses the cloud loft insulation like the other Mistral um, sleeping bags. If you want a little extra insulation or extra temperature control, maybe take a look at the ones that use the Thermapro insulation, but still, zero degrees for those really cold nights. There are other sleeping bags out there that go even colder, like negative 20 or negative 30, but those are not part of the Kelty line. So for those ratings, different sleeping bag brands sometimes use different ratings. There's comfort rating, there's lower limit rating. Comfort rating is usually like, how comfortable would you be at this temperature? So supposedly at 20 degrees, you'd be comfortable at a, with a 20 degree sleeping bag. Other brands also have a difference between women's and regular sleeping bag ratings. So supposedly the women's sleeping bag is warmer than another sleeping bag of the same temperature. Now I tried both of our 20 degree sleeping bags and I didn't really notice that big of a difference other than the Therma Pro insulation being that much warmer than the Mistral insulation. So that's something else to consider. If you do feel like you need a little extra warmth, check out the women's line of sleeping bags. The construction is going to be taffeta on both the shell and the liner. This has an offset quilt construction. As you can see in the bag itself, the hems are okay. I do notice a little bit of fraying where I get it snagged, so that's something to keep in mind. But you also have some color options. What I have here is the burnt orange and teal version, but you can also get options like red and orange or even kind of like a green color. And my favorite thing about sleeping bags is that they are designed to be stuffed into this stuff sack and not folded up all nice and neat. So when you're ready to go, you're done with your adventure, you just pack it right back in there. We have a cinch strap at the end, so let's just cinch it tight. And then don't forget to put that flap right over it. So this is a kid's version and in its stored position it's about 17 inches tall and 10 inches wide but that's going to change depending on how you stuff it as well as what size of a bag you have but you can definitely see how this makes it easier to transport. So my personal thoughts about the Mistral series of sleeping bags is that it really does check off all the boxes. You have a comfortable taffeta construction. You have a durable insulation that keeps you warm, especially for let's say your zero or 20 degree sleeping bags. You also have the zippers, which give you access to the bag and that mummy style construction. Now, this is not the premium option though. So if you want some extra comfort features, let's say your feet want to get ventilated at night and you want an easy access foot box, that's not what this has. You might want to check out our other options here at e-trailer like the Kelty Tuck, which adds those little 
extra ease of use features. But if you just want a basic sleeping bag that gets the job done, keeps you comfortable, keeps you warm at night, this might still be a great option for you. And that was a look right here at our Kelty Mistral sleeping bags here at eTrailer. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.